were just standing by. I sent him the link. I told him I was waiting. Ooh, oh. <laughs> hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's up, Jay or James? What do you prefer? Jay. Jay, okay. What's up? My heart is racing. I could see Alexis's heart racing. I don't even know what to say. I mean, I have questions, Cami has questions, but like, it's you, it look, you look like you. Why do you think this is something you guys hadn't done up until right now? Honestly, a lot of it's just like um, body image issues with dysphoria and just everything that comes with like being a transgender man. And um, I only came out like a year and a half ago uh, to two years. So it was just very um, scary. Alexis was the first person like I came out to. It's just very accepting right away. But my family was not as supportive. So I guess I was just scared that like Alexis just wouldn't like me anymore, I guess. Right, but, but you post pictures of yourself and Alexis sees those and you send her photos and knowing already that she fully supports you as a trans man. Yeah. That was confusing to us. It was just all very daunting to me, you know? Cause like when I first came out, like I barely accepted myself. What was I gonna do if Alexis didn't accept me? So it was just hard. Are you comfortable with sharing where you are right now in your transition? Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty transition. I have all of my consultations booked. The next few months is when things really start to pick up. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so hold on a second. I just want to kind of go over the basics. So you're 25. Yeah. And you live in Canada. Yes, I do. Is there anything about you or your background that we either don't know or that was wrong or? or... Um, I guess there's just like one thing that Alexis doesn't know. Um, and it's not something that I'm like proud of. So November of like 2020, I had a relationship with um, a guy. His name was Nate. It lasted for like three, four months. So not that long ago. Yeah. But it's over now. Yeah. Were you guys just talking online or were you dating in, in person? We were dating in person. Here's my question. Alexis felt like you guys were more than friends. Yeah. And I think she made that clear to you. Why were you dating other people unless you were not interested in, in anything more than a friendship? Um, it's just that like, I'm really scared to lose Alexis. Lexi's always been my best friend. You call her your best friend and that's great and I'm happy that you feel that close to her but if I were Alexis and I heard you calling me your best friend despite the fact that you definitely know I'm in love with you yeah I talked about living together and you're single and it's not like you're not dating anyone you just were dating someone I would be frustrated and confused and hurt that you don't seem to want to change the sort of friends zone status it's just like it's a big deal it's a big change but um, if Alexis wants to like have like a, an exclusive relationship, like I'd 100% jump into that. But you don't want to be the one to initiate that? It does, I just, I get this weird sort of like, yeah, I'm open to it, but it's not like, I'm in love with you, Alexis. I want to be with you. I'll do whatever I can. It's, it's not like I have any hesitance towards it. The word best friend encapsulates everything. It's just selfish. I don't want to lose you, so I'll just put you on hold and date other people. But I'll totally flirt with you, and it'll be really fun and great for me when it's great for me. I don't know, it just feels like... I understand. Okay, Alexis, I'd love to sort of sidebar with you for a minute, just sort of check in and debrief a, a bit. Okay. Okay. What are you thinking? How are you feeling about all that. I feel good, I feel great. Well, hold on a second. James had a boyfriend. While you were fully in love with him, he got into a relationship, didn't tell you. That can't feel good. I mean, it doesn't feel great, but I think he knew that I would have felt really bad. 
I don't know, I don't want to hear you justifying James doing things that isn't cool. That's the sort of behavior right. that we are concerned about you having, where you find ways of making the things that are happening to you that you don't like okay. justified. Right. What we need to figure out right now is like, what do you want? I want a relationship with him. I want to be monogamous, but I don't want him to do it just because he knows I want to do it. Right. right. He'll either make you a priority or he won't. And, and look, if he's not ready and he can't do that right now, then he has to deal with the reality of knowing that he may never get another chance. But like, you need to be a priority for yourself and find someone who feels the same way. You've been waiting for five years. He needs to make his move now. You need to stand up for yourself and say, hey, look, Jay, this is what I want. And Alexis, I have a feeling not a lot of people have told you that you're awesome and hot and sexy and funny and amazing. And cool as Super cool. <laughs> and you should be the one to say, hey, right now you need to be all in. If you don't want this, I'm gonna go find someone else who does because there's a whole lot of people who will. <laughs> you literally gotta disappear just like that. I know, look, you're, you're only 23 and you, you haven't had a ton of experience, but like your I'm the whole desire package. of right. exact, <laughs> say it again. I'm the whole package. Period. There we go. Now start walking with that energy because that is who you are. You're cool as and you deserve to be with somebody who's excited about being with you. That could be James, but it could also be somebody else. Right, I agree. <laughs> no but. No but, I disagree. <laughs> Okay, good. We've never had two hopeless hook up an identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.